What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Tuesday, November the 22nd, 2022. And we got to jump into some of this fusion experience stuff. I just want to share my opinion. I want to share my posture. Of course, this is my journey, so I can only speak on my own experiences and different things that I have gone through. But of course, we're getting comments and different things that all of you have gone through. And I just want to share my opinion where I am right now. And, and that's all this is. And, and uh, maybe some cool stuff that I'm seeing in the back office as things are progressing. But before I get started in all that, I want to remind all of you guys that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube sharing, sharing with you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to be updated about everything going on here, BLJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. So the biggest thing right now is a lot of people in fusion experiences are having some issues with KYC. They're having some issues with the dollar deposit. They're having some issues with their own personal deposits in the arbitrage system. Now, what I have been responding, and of course, I am not a person that works for the company. I'm just a person that shares my journey inside of the platform, right? So some people are saying their they're, they're KYC in other countries isn't working. Now, my KYC worked just fine. It took my card information just fine. So I can only speak on myself, but others are having an issue. So my biggest, my biggest suggestion on that issue in particular is to just let's practice some patience ladies and gentlemen i understand that uh, fusion proto or fusion experience has been in beta testing for a few weeks now but it does not mean that they have beta tested having thousands of members join in a 24-hour period thousands of deposits happen in a 24-hour period yes they might could have tested that but quite honestly there's no way to really test it until you roll it out so you got to roll it out to be able to, and, and anybody that knows anything about technology or troubleshooting, all of this stuff is stuff I kind of expected. Um, everything is not going to be perfect right out the gate. Um, I'm seeing a lot of comments in the Telegram group and all this different stuff, which I, I think are warranted. People have their concerns and they're like, why wasn't this tested before and this, that, and the third. But I personally think, and this is just my opinion now, I really think that one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice patience with this one. It literally just launched yesterday. So I'm not expecting everything to be perfect right away. Um, what I suggest for everyone that's having an issue is make sure you're taking screenshots, make sure you document your own personal issues. So when that time comes around where you actually get in contact with support, you're actually, to, you're actually prepared to share with them what the issue is. If your issue gets resolved before you get a chance to speak with support, then great. But if it's not, you want to make sure you have everything from your uh, your hash IDs from, from making deposits in the platform. You want to make sure that you're taking screenshots of, of your own deposits of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> KYC processes if you're having an issue. Make sure you're notating all of this if you're having these issues, all right? Of course, my personal stance on these issues is to be patient. Everybody's not going to do that. Everybody's not going to be patient. Um, I'm already getting comments that saying, oh, this is not a good sign, this, that, and third. And I really kind of think it's funny because everyone now is an expert on platforms. Everyone. Everyone is an expert. They know exactly what it is that should be going on. They know exactly what it is that they should be seeing in their back office. They know exactly how these platforms run, right, obviously. Um, so since we're all experts... <laughs> and, and hopefully you guys can tell the sarcasm in my voice we're not experts ladies and gentlemen we did not put this platform together okay so when people say oh the the lack of communication in the telegram group is telling uh it might be just because they're actually trying to actively fix the problem instead of spending time going back and forth with people in the telegram group and quite honestly i think the telegram group should be closed to people i just don't like when random people have access to a Telegram group and they get to say whatever they want, whenever they want, whether they're going through an issue or not. There are lanes for, for going through issues and making sure that you're expressing them to the right people that can actually help you and not creating FUD somewhere else. Now, I'm not too worried about the FUD part because, you know, if the platform works or not, that's going to tell, you know, that's going to do away with all the FUD. You know, there's people talking about funds and Novatech every single day of the week. 
every hour of the day, there is somebody out there saying something negative about paying platforms. So that kind of stuff, it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. However, when you leave a telegram open for people to just say whatever they want and then have opinions on whatever it is that they're seeing or saying, then it kind of leaves it up for people to feel this way. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at any of this. Um, but what my posture is going to be is a posture of patience. That's what I will keep. So um, if any of you guys want to be patient, that's on you. Of course, the decision to join this platform in the beginning is on you. Um, the decision to decide to make a deposit in this platform is on every one of us. We have to be accountable for our own decisions. Um, if you're not willing to lose what you have decided to deposit, then maybe you should reconsider this space because even though we 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 want to believe that platforms are going to last for us forever and a long time and this, that, and the third. The reality of it is that some platforms don't. I'd say about 95% of the platforms that come into this space, not just my channel, because that's not the statistic for my channel, <laughs> but I'd say about 90% of the platforms that are created are not going to last a month. That's counting hypes. And there are hundreds and hundreds of hypes created all the time. Now, I'm not putting this in the hype category, but what I am saying is I'm going to practice a bit more patience because there are growing pains with platforms, especially ones that are planning on being here for a while. You know what I'm saying? This is one that has continuously said um, about how excited it is, how exciting it is, or how excited they are to be able to provide a platform that they believe is going to be here for a long time. Now, of course, with a platform like that, you're going to go through growing pains. I cannot say it enough. So I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you what posture to have. I can't tell you what to join. I can't tell you what to do in the space. However, what I can say is that as for me personally, in fusion experience, I know I'm going to practice some patience. I know I'm still waiting on $25 to reflect in my fusion protocol. I mean, my fusion experience account. And that's okay. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, the $300 that I deposited earlier is still there. And hopefully we'll see it trading for the first time today in the arbitrage system that they have set up. So um, as you can see by my posture right now, I'm not frantic. I'm not fretting. I didn't put in or over leverage my, excuse me, over leverage myself in the beginning. Of course, it's pretty cool that we are now in the top 10 of people that are talking about this platform and we've literally haven't been talking about it more than 24 hours. I did my presentation last night and I think 45 people have decided to use the link and join. I don't think that's reflective of the volume or the amount of people that have actually decided to make a deposit. However, um, we do have people that are using the links and they're joining and they're signing up. So I wish you all the best of luck in this platform. I'm going to continue to bring as much information as I can. Um, those of you that noticed, I dropped my Fusion Experience uh, uh, BOJ leaders telegram link. So what my goal in this telegram, it's not, it's not open. It's a private group. However, the link is public. You will not be able to type in this group. The only person that can type in this group is myself. Okay. What I am doing in this group is I'm going to be trying to bring as much information to this group as possible. So if you guys are looking for information like the zoom calls, if you're looking for information on how to link your Tron link, um, how to do it on Android, how to possibly do it on Apple. Um, we've, we've found some videos and are currently looking for videos that can be of help to you guys. So um, on that end, just be patient with the process. I'm still learning how to deal with the Telegram groups, but I think I found a system that works for me and hopefully it, it provides value to you guys. So um, we know that there are issues and problems going on in Fusion Experience, but it's literally has not been available to the masses for more than 24 hours. So anybody that has an issue, make sure you stay patient, all right? I even think that I left um, a few links in my Telegram group, and I'm gonna go over here and check really quickly because there are a few things in here that you guys should see, right? And of course, this link is in the description. All you gotta do is click on more and scroll down a bit find the fusion experience little section and you'll see all of these things but i'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys really quickly in my telegram group that i have put together all right and here are some links that i think everyone should have all right 
They have the global leaders WhatsApp right here. All right. I do believe that this WhatsApp is now full. I'm not sure if they are adding people to it or not, but hey, check that out. If you're having site bugs, they have a form, a Google form for that. If you're having deposit issues, they have a, a Google form for that. If you're having referral issues, they have a Google form for that. They have a video for setting up your Tron link on your Android, setting up your Tron link on your iPhone, enrollment and back office walkthrough, corporate YouTube channel, and the white paper link. All right. Now, this is all here in my own personal Telegram group. I do believe that this is a pinned message, um, but this is stuff that you can scroll through. I'll continue to be updating this, even the frequently asked questions. We have 14 subscribers to it already, and that's just for me putting the link up. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I will be <clears throat> providing as much resource as I can in this group, but it will not be open for people to just be saying whatever they want. Um, I get enough of that in the comment section. I'm not going to do that in a Telegram group that I run. Um, that's just quite annoying. That's just my personal opinion, though. All right. Remember, I'm just sharing my experiences here. Um, I'm not trying to convince anybody to do anything. I'm not trying to um, pull anybody, sway anybody in left or right. But what I am here to do is make sure that my opinion is clear, that my journey is documented, and um, fusion experience is a part of my journey. So um, one thing that I do know is that I very rarely get preferential treatment, okay? So those of you that think that I do, just because I have a YouTube channel, that only happens in, happens in hypes and stuff like that. Like stuff like Novatech and... Uh, um, uh, funds and different things like that. I don't get preferential treatment. They don't pay me extra to do stuff. I just do it the way I do it. And I get paid the way I get paid. Um, hypes are the ones that try to break you off a little some, some for, for saying and doing things. And as you know, I'm not really in the hype space that much anymore. I'm looking for platforms that are going to be here for me to talk about for a while. Um, I think that does well for our watchers, our listeners, and from a content creation standpoint, it's good to have platforms that are going to be here to talk about every day and for the weeks and weeks and months and months and hopefully years and years to come. And we're praying and hoping that Fusion Experience is a part of that category. It just started, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not going to get all out of whack. I'm not going to say, why wasn't this tested or why wasn't this done? I'm not a platform developer. <laughs> I'm not a... Uh, I, I'm not any of that. So I'm not going to pretend or try or act like I am. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use the information that I know and, of course, control my own emotions because it doesn't do me any good to get riled up about something that I know the risk in. Right. I'm, I'm going to be patient. So you all can do what you choose to do. It's your crypto. It's your journey. It's your money. It's your decisions. But be accountable for them. All right. And I'm sure that Fusion uh, experience with the team that they have, they are working diligently to make sure that this problem gets fixed and they have given us resources, these Google Docs and different things of that nature, to let them know about the problems, even if we can't get in touch with the support on the chat, all right? There are, ven there are avenues out here for us. You just got to stay involved. You got to stay in the game. And if you're choosing to quit and it's getting fuddish for you already, I just don't think this is the space for you. Of course, this is my opinion, but if we're getting riled up and it hasn't even been 24 hours of a full official launch yet, I think we ought to R-E-L-A-X. I said X. R-E-L-A-X. Just relax a bit. Give it some time, all right? That's what I'm going to do. Of course, I can't tell you what to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to relax. I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to let the system do its thing. They've worked so hard on this, and I'm not going to let one day of thousands and thousands of people making entries and deposits blow me, blow me off my track. I just won't. If you will, that is your decision, all right? I'll see you on the next one. Of course, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It's not very fun. This platform has 2FA, Google Authenticator at that. So y'all know I love me some 2FA. Um, with that being said, uh, let's see, did I, did I say everything that I want to say? I think I did. We'll come back and if I missed anything, but i um, just know I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just showing y'all how I'm cranking that crypto and fusion experience is still something that I plan on cranking that crypto from. So we'll see what happens. We'll document it every step of the way. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.